Hey everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a great roundup of high-end designer dupes for you all. And if you're familiar with these videos, you know this is such a great way to get that designer look in your space on a budget. So I have my laptop here and I'm gonna just insert pictures of the dupes on either side so we can kind of compare together. And a couple of these items I actually own myself and then the rest are just some really great deals that are out there right now. So I do wanna apologize in advance if stock or prices fluctuate from the time of filming this video. I do try hard though to pick items that are soundly stocked and are a good price. Also, everything is linked below and without further ado, let's get into the dupes. All right, so our first dupe is actually going to be a decor piece and it is this wood artifact stand from Scout and Nimble priced at $277. And this thing is so beautiful. I love the distressed look of the wood on here. It would add such a great texture and a really pretty statement to a console table, shelf styling, or you know maybe a mantle. I've seen a lot of my favorite designers and home bloggers use these in their homes, but $277 is a lot. So there is a dupe on over at Belk and this guy is only $12.50 and I actually own this. I figured this was such a good price. Why not invest in it myself? And I just have it placed on the desk of our upstairs living space. It adds such an elevated look to just pair it with a little plant. And I think this would look really pretty on a console table. Maybe if you have a larger desk with a plant, it would be a really nice accent piece to add that warmth and texture in there. And I just love how this looks like such a designer piece. I know West Elm and Ballard Designs also sell stone ones that are not wood but they're made of stone so the circular disc on a stand is a very designer look and I love how just layering this into my decor really helped to elevate it and give it that designer look when I only paid $12.50 for it. All right, so our next dupe is going to be this Morel side table from McGee Co. Priced at $1,980 plus a $200 shipping and handling fee. And while that is super duper expensive, this piece is absolutely gorgeous. And I talk about this all the time on my channel about how adding in materials into your space that are made from natural materials like stone, wood, linen, jute, things like that. When you layer a space with materials like that, it really helps your space to have that overall down to earth, organic, natural feel that's just very calming and relaxing. And that's personally what I go for in my spaces. So this piece really does help you do that, but at the $2,000 price tag, we can do better. So we're gonna go head on over to Wayfair for our dupe. And this is the Menemone side table priced at $286. So much cheaper, plus you get free shipping on Wayfair. Fair, so that's great but this has that same overall textural look that the other one has just a lot cheaper so I mean adding this to any space would instantly elevate it and give it that really natural rustic look and this is a perfect piece to accent an upholstered sofa with those mixed materials and just have a nice convenient spot to put down a book or a coffee or you could actually use this as a little pedestal and maybe one of those awkward places of wall where you don't have a lot of room to do something but it's just blank and you need to add a little bit of extra visual interest, pop this in there and put a plant on top and maybe hang a little picture above it and you've instantly got that designer look in your space. So definitely a really, really great piece for an amazing price. All right, so our next dupe is going to be this Mason Kane storage cabinet from Urban Outfitters priced at $1,899. And it comes in two colors, a natural and a black. And I love this because it's a really elevated way to just store away things like games, toys, seasonal decor, barware, whatever. It'd look really pretty in a dining room or maybe just in an empty corner of a living room if you need some extra storage that's pretty and decorative. But $2,000 is a lot of money, so we're gonna go head on over to Target for our dupe and it is this arched wood cabinet in brown by Opal House and this is the lighter color and I do believe they actually just came out with a darker color as well if that is more your thing. And this guy is only $430 and honestly I love the design of this one a lot more because you have that little open shelf at the top so you have the opportunity for a little styling moment, maybe pop a plant on there and that would just give it a little bit more of a fresher look. And I love it because you get that decorative element but you also get that hidden storage practicality as well 
well, so super practical. The only thing I will say is that this one is a bit shorter than the Urban Outfitters one, so if you have really tall ceilings, this might not be a great choice for you, but still overall a really great price difference and a very, very similar product for a lot cheaper. All right, so our next dupe is this brass cookbook and tablet stand priced at $58. And I love the simplicity of this, and I've talked about this before on my channel, how I really love to incorporate a cookbook stand into my kitchen styling. Not only does it help soften your kitchen, but it is a very practical decor piece. I use mine all the time to prop up my cookbook or my meal service delivery cards. Super practical to have out there, and if you're not using it, I always just like prop a really pretty cookbook on there just for some decor. But $58 is a little bit pricey, so we're gonna go head on over to Target where you can get this stainless steel kitchen cookbook stand for only $15. So super similar overall look, just a lot cheaper. I love the brass look of it and it would work really well if you had some other brass accents in your kitchen, like maybe a faucet or your hardware. So definitely a really pretty piece for a great price and I love the practicality that this adds as well. All right, so our next dupe is going to be this Youngman console table from McGee & Co priced at $1,000. And I just love the simple lines of this and how it does give that elevated designer feel. But overall, it's not too crazy, it's not too ornate, it just has that really simple, casual vibe, which I love. It could be great to use in a space where you have a lot of heavier, chunkier furniture pieces. And this I love because it allows your eye to move through it and it doesn't feel too heavy. Um, so we have a very similar looking piece on over at Target. This is the Belmont Shore Curved Foot Console Table. It's priced at $220, so huge price difference there. And I actually have the side table version of this and I love it. And like I said, it's just a very casual piece that doesn't add too much weight to a space, which I really like. And especially when pairing it to maybe a chunkier sofa like we have, we have a big chunky sectional. I like that this kind of contrasts that and lets your eye move under it and around it. So it feels a little bit lighter and contrasts that heavy sofa. I also love the wood tone of it and feel like this would just be such a pretty styling piece to add to an entryway or a living room or maybe just a long hallway where you have a little bit of extra space. And I've talked about this before, but this piece is actually designed by Shay McGee, who is the designer of McGee & Co. And her expensive McGee & Co. designer line often parallels her Target line, which is great for us because we're able to get those high-end designer pieces for budget prices, which is awesome. All right, so our next piece is going to be this reclaimed wood bowl from Burke Decor. And this guy is priced at $399, which it's such a beautiful bowl, but $400 for a decorative bowl is a lot. But I will say that these distressed and reclaimed wood bowls are a very high-end designer look. I see them being used all the time in my favorite designer spaces. So they do come with a little bit more of a heftier price tag, but we have a much cheaper version, which is crazy where it's from because this is a designer site as well, but it's actually from Arhaus and it is this reclaimed wood bowl and it's priced right now at $44.10. And I feel like these distressed wood bowls just really help to add that calm, casual, organic feel to your space. I have one in my space that I got from an antique seller here in North Carolina and I love the texture that it adds to my space. Adding in those worn vintage pieces really helps your space to feel like it has character and it has a story and that you live in it. So it helps to give off that really cozy feel, which I love. So I have mine out front and center on our kitchen island and I'm constantly filling it with a different seasonal bowl filler as the seasons change. So it's a nice decorative piece to have that really creates a statement. And honestly, when I saw that cheap $44 price tag, especially on our house, I was like, okay, well it has to be a really small bowl, but I checked the dimensions and nope, it's a 14 inch bowl, which would really help create a statement, whether that be on a dining table or a kitchen island, a console table, Table, a coffee table, wherever. There's so many places that you can use this. And you can even use this for serveware as well. I personally have put a little dish towel in it as a liner and then put bread in here just for a cute way to serve bread that looks a little bit more rustic. So definitely a really great piece for a great price and surprisingly on a designer site as well. 
All right, so our next dupe is going to be the small cabinet from Lulu in Georgia, priced at $2,698. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the design of this to where it's unique, but it still looks very natural and would definitely help elevate a space and is one of those conversation pieces that just has a really interesting look about it. I love the design on the doors with the fun little square details in the corner, but being almost $3,000, I don't feel like that would be worth it for this. It would be really pretty maybe in an entryway to hide away shoes or maybe in a dining area or a living room to store some games. It could be pretty to put some barware in here and have like a little bar on this. I think that would look absolutely adorable, but we have a much cheaper option on over at TJ Maxx. And this is the Tasha Banana Leaf two-door cabinet priced at $399. So you still get that designer look. It looks almost identical to the Lulu in Georgia one, but just a much cheaper price tag. So it has that really natural look to it. So it does have a lot of versatility. I love again that it has that hidden storage, but it does just have a really pretty face to it. So it helps add some nice visual interest to your space while still giving you that option of practicality with that hidden storage. All right, so one of my favorite things to use in styling are stools. I feel like they're great accent pieces, especially in bathrooms. They're great to just pop a little plant on to help soften everything and make it feel a little bit more spa-like. So I have done this personally in our guest bath with a vintage stool that I found, um, but our expensive version is going to be this Arlene stool from Lulu in Georgia. It's currently on sale right now for $223, but it's normally $300. So it's a really pretty and versatile piece. It would look great placed next to a sofa. I actually have done this in our home as well with a stool that I found at Home Goods. So that's a really pretty use for it as well, but you know, $300 is a lot of money. So we're gonna head on over to Wayfair and this is a very similar looking stool from the Kelly Clarkson collection. And this is $128, so less than half of the price. And I love the tone of wood on here. It kind of looks like that pretty distressed weathered gray look, which I love. And a lot of people in the reviews have used it in their bathroom and it seems to be a great size, just really skinny and provides that decorative element that helps make the space look a lot more spa-like. All right, so our next piece is actually a seasonal piece, which I don't normally incorporate in these, but I saw this one and it was way too good to pass up. I typically stay away from like super themey decor, but I thought this was so tasteful and classic. And it is this sculptural pumpkin serving bowl from Williams Sonoma priced at $119. And here they have it pictured with a gorgeous fall salad in here. It would be really nice for maybe a pasta dish, maybe some cinnamon rolls or a pie. It would just look really pretty for maybe a Thanksgiving gathering or a Friendsgiving get together, something like that. Our dupe is gonna be on over at Belk and this guy is only $22, so less than one fourth of the price. And I actually own this. I saw it at Belk the other day and I could not pass it up. I just love the really pretty stoneware look of it. And it did look to be very expensive despite the price. I felt like it could pass for the Williams Sonoma one. I feel like out of all the seasons, like fall food is the most iconic and is the one that I personally enjoy the most. Like, you know, pumpkin things, soups, pastas. Ugh, it's just such like the comfort food season and I love that. So I figured this would be a great piece to just kind of have on hand to serve those dishes in. And for $22, I just couldn't pass it up. All right, everyone, that about wraps up this video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing this group of dupes. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It's a great free and easy way to help support the channel. If this is the first dupe video you are seeing and you enjoyed it, there are a ton more where this came from. I have a whole playlist and I will link some other ones below. So definitely check those out if you wanna get more dupe ideas. But I wanna thank you all so much for watching this video. I am super grateful for each and every one of you for your constant kindness and support in the comment section. It really does mean so much to me and I want to thank you all again for watching this and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!